everybody, it's Denise, and I have with me the beautiful Gail from uh, the Blessed Food Bank. She's executive director here. This is her first live, so you guys need to make her feel super comfortable today because she's a little bit nervous. Uh, if you can't hear her, then you need to say, hey, I need Gail to speak louder, so give me some thumbs up if you need her to speak louder. I'm here today, as most of you know, um, hey April. Hi, Nikki. Can you guys hear me okay? I can't see my comments, so hopefully you can. Perfect. Thanks for the thumbs up. Hi, Nicole. Redemption Pause is in the house. Um, so most of you know that, and if you don't, let me tell you my story really quickly. So in uh, early 2017, I was contacted by a client of, uh, hey Sydney, I was contacted by a client of uh, the Wood Green Food Bank. Um, I'm in the vet industry, I'm in the charity world, I'm uh, eyeball deep in animal rescue. So they reached out to me in hopes that I could help them and help others uh, because the food banks are always low on pet food. Human food as well, but often the cupboards are dry with pet food. So this person reached out to me and said, look at Denise, I, you know, I have a dog. I'm a great pet parent, and, and I absolutely believe she is. This was not anything beyond that. Uh, but she said, I need a little bit of help, and we just don't have pet food here in Toronto. We got her the help. I connected. Hey, Edward, uh, how are you today? We connected with the Wood Green Food Bank. They confirmed that, yes, this was a problem. And, you know, I, I was kind of shocked. I just assumed that food banks had pet food and human goods as well that were donated. Uh, that was not true. So they embraced the fact um, that I could help supply them with pet food for their clients. We did an amazing pet food drive. We raised hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of food uh, thanks to those in the Beaches community and in Leslieville and the whole East End. Um, we delivered the food to Wood Green Food Bank. It was an amazing success. Their clients were thrilled, and I committed that I would help them for the rest of 2017 to keep their cupboards full no matter what. Uh, through that success, Gail reached out to me from the Bluffs Food Bank. Hey, Dave. Hi, Diana. Um, Gail reached out to me from the Bluffs Food Bank. Um, the Grace Pasco Food Bank also reached out to me there at Maine and Kingston Road. These guys are all having the same problem. They don't have pet food. So because of the generous contributions from all of you guys, hey Nishant, hi John, thanks John, you're pretty amazing too. Um, because of so many people being so generous and kind and, and I knew that you guys would support me and organizations like the Toronto Humane Society as well has been instrumental. We've been able throughout the entire year stock the shelves of those local food banks uh, to s make sure that their clients did not have to go without when it came to pet food. It was awesome and I'm so appreciative of you guys. They are, are full until I think January 2018. All of the food banks have food until January, pet food until January 2018. Um, we also were able to help out Fred Victor uh, as well as City Outreach. So if you guys are familiar with those programs, uh, make sure you help them as well and they're included in this whole plea. Uh, so I'm going to kind of turn it over to my friend Gail who's probably comfortable enough now with <laughs> This whole Facebook Live thing. Can you see everybody I watching see. and commenting? Oh. Yes. So, Gail, tell me a little bit about. Hi, Karen. How are you? Thanks, Karen, so much. Thank you for donations and for all that you guys do to make it possible. Um, Gail's going to talk to us a little bit about uh, what happens here at the food bank. And today is like the little elves' Christmas day, and they're just busy little bees. And I'm going to turn this around in a minute so you guys can see how many people are actually involved in putting this together. And just one more thing before I pop it over to Gail and before I forget, oh, and Taylor K, you should be here. I miss you, girl. I wish you were here right now. If you guys aren't following Taylor K, Chum FM, go and do it. Awesome, awesome woman. Love her. Anyhow, um, we are giving away because PetSmart Charities is so awesome and also an integral part of uh, the food bank donations that I've been able to do. So if anybody comments, let me see Gail, what should we have them comment below to win this $25 gift card from PetSmart? 
what a great opportunity this is for them to donate to our food bank. So what if we get them to say, like, Christmas? Because Christmas, Christmas is an integral part of food banks for human food and pet food. Christmas so, is coming. Yeah. So if you guys comment with Christmas below, I'm going to enter everybody that comments with Christmas below to win a $25 gift card from PetSmart. And uh, we'll do that draw later on, and I will announce it. Now that I've talked so much, I need a break. I'm going to turn it over to Gail, Executive Director, the Bluffs Food Bank. Gail, tell us about what this is all about and what happens here. Well, thank you so much, Denise, and it's great to uh, see all of you commenting as well. The Bluffs Food Bank opened uh, in 2003, and we've been operating since. It's run entirely by volunteers, and when Denise turns this camera around shortly, you'll see about 30 people volunteering. There are actually a hundred volunteers who make this possible. We uh, receive groceries on Wednesday and we are open to serve clients on Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. So it's a great crew and we have lots of fun and we work really hard. And we really appreciate what Denise is doing for us. It's not me, it's all of you guys. It's you guys donating that really make it possible. I'm just kind of like the cog in the wheel. Um, how many clients do you serve here, Gail, right now? And how many clients do you see over Christmas? Well, we serve about 300 clients every Thursday. Sorry, 300 families, so that's more like 500 people every week. And getting close to Christmas, it gets close to 350 or more families each week. So the d demand is high, and lots of these folks, as many as 35%, have all got cats or dogs or even birds and puppies and kittens, and they are so happy to receive these groceries for their pets every week now, thanks to Denise and you folks. Yeah, and I just saw the annual report from the Daily Bread Food Bank. Um, in 2016, I believe it is, not, yeah, I'm going to say 2016, maybe it was 2017, I'm not sure when their year ended, but there are over a million families that rely on Toronto food banks, Toronto food banks. Um, that's staggering to me. Um, half of those people, almost half of those people, um, just based on what the food banks that I've helped out um, have their ratio are pet parents. So, you know, you're talking three, four hundred thousand people that rely on the food bank that have pets. Like, I get up in the morning and, you know, like all of you guys, I feed my dog, Destiny gets her meal, I make my coffee, you know, I get on with my day, I come home, I feed my dog, yes, my dog eats first, feed the cats, then I make my dinner. Um, I couldn't imagine going to the cupboard and my dog looking up at me or my cats looking at me and not being able to feed them. And I think a lot of these people give up their own grocery money to feed their pets. They give up their own groceries to feed their pets. And their own groceries to feed their pets. And you know what? Just shouldn't be that way, guys. So um, I am going to encourage you to please, when you are uh, making donations to, to any food bank, uh, as well as my friends here at the Bluffs Food Bank on uh, 33 East Road, Warden and Kingston Warden Road, and Kingston Road to remember pets um, as long as, as well as your, your the human food and what kind of th food can they donate for your clients for our clients anything with protein so peanut butter uh, tuna fish uh, protein beans uh, egg well we buy eggs so financial donations help us to purchase things like eggs or milk for example okay and then there's also a need for uh, egg cartons, right? I know I collected egg cartons yes. for a while. Yes. Can you explain the egg cartons really quickly? Well, when we get eggs donated from Daily Bread, they come in flats, and it's pretty hard to give out eggs that aren't encased in a container that they can carry them home in. So if we get empty egg cartons, we cut them up into fours, and we can give each person four eggs, or a family could get eight or a dozen eggs. So that, that helps. The other item that we really need is sanitary products for women. That is a great need. It's pretty, it's pretty sad to hear somebody say, I don't have any sanitary products, and she uses a sock. Guys, that's huge. And we did a collection of that as well. That's huge. Like, you ladies out there, you know. Right? So remember, you know, sanitary products, pet food, you know, um, high-protein items for people. 
egg cartons. Um, how can people reach you, Gail, if they need more information? Well, if they go to our website, if you just Google the Bluffs Food Bank, we come up right at the top. And there's a contact that comes to me in e by email. So if you want to do a food drive or you want to make a donation, any questions, we answer. We try to get back right the same day. Yeah, Gail is pretty awesome, and so are all of her peeps. So I'm going to turn this around for a second so that you guys can kind of see the action that's happening here. Don't forget to comment with Christmas in the comments below. And I'm going to enter to enter you guys to win a $25 gift card from PetSmart. Um, because they have been awesome. PetSmart Charities, I'm just going to say, you know, you get if you buy something at PetSmart, you get that email, thanks for feeding pets. I'm telling you, I have seen warehouses and warehouses and warehouses full of food that PetSmart, uh, through PetSmart Charities, has donated uh, back. So it is a real true thing. But I'm going to spin this around. Uh, I don't know, should I give them a heads up? I'm not going to give them a heads up. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. Let me get this spun around. I locked it in, so I'm going to have to do it this way. And just look at all these busy bees here. Hey, friend. Hey. hey, hey, hey. Wave back, friend. Thank you. Where's the dog food? It's in the car. It's coming. Oh, okay. We're good at sorting dog food. Cat food. Get the cats. Hey, ladies. Maury. <laughs> They're like, oh, heck no. All right, guys. So that's it. I want to thank uh, the Bluffs Food Bank for all of the incredible things that they do. I want to thank Gail for being so awesome and letting me sort of integrate into this and help out um, with pet food. And that just that fills my heart, as you guys know. And if you have questions, comment below. I'll shoot them off to Gail or I'll get her to answer them. I don't think we're friends on Facebook. Are we friends on Facebook? Not yet. We'll we are going to be friends on Facebook. And she can comment below uh, or answer any questions on the comments below. And I'm going to still give you guys some time until the end of the day to get in. Comment with Christmas below. Don't forget to donate to your local food bank. Include pet foods. Include sanitary supplies. Win this card. Give PetSmart a thumbs up. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. And, and any final thank words? Thank you, Denise, and thank you to all of you. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.